Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. Today we're driving up north. We're gonna go check out Gracie Baja Northridge. Felipe Pena is also gonna be there, so we're gonna see what he's been up to, but it's gonna be a good time. We'll see you guys then. Train today? Start, yeah. Start the week. This week is the week of the tournament, so it's a little bit more more relaxed, but uh, feel excited. This week there is no much uh, what you can do, like it's pretty much more, more sparring. Uh, yeah, so we're in uh, GB Northridge here in Northridge, San Fernando Valley. Uh, we're preparing Philippe for the tournament and the other guys that are competing too. It's already a week to taper things off, so uh, a lot of the guys are just staying uh, more local. A lot of the guys from Orange County come in and, and do the, the training as well for uh, leading up for Worlds. So right now it's just to finish up getting those guys going, cutting weight if they need to cut, uh, sharper the techniques if they need to drill it, and get this these guys ready and get Philippe ready to, to take over the whole thing. <laughs> I would keep just the same intensity. Obviously, they're gonna do less volume, but I'll keep the same intensity. Don't relax too much. I know it's the week of the, the tournament, but you gotta stay sharp. You gotta feel good. So uh, feel free to take rounds uh, break in between, or if you wanna just do eight minutes for the brown belts, you can just stop at eight and have a bigger break, okay? But the timer's gonna be on 10, just so you guys know. Make sense? Now watch the three. I've been an athlete, you know, like for a long time, and then uh, we count the awards as the most uh, important tournament. And then, uh, you know, we live waiting to compete on the awards. And then, not having awards in the last year, I think that was uh, it was pretty sad for the athletes. You know, I think everybody's very excited, and then uh, they they wait to put a show. You know, I can't wait to see what the athletes has to hold. And then, uh, you know, like I'm looking forward to watch. What do you think about just the absolute division in general? And then do you kind of have someone who you think is going to win the absolute this year? Felipe Pena, double gold. That's it. I don't know the other guys. I just know he's going to make it. <laughs> in Brazil like uh, the last weeks and uh, I was planning to come here two weeks uh, before the, the tournament to do some different training be with my my friends here in California so uh, I got here one week ago train last week was amazing all the guys helped me a lot and uh, just a few more days training here rest around one two days because they're gonna fight the open way too so it's been great so what's it like training with Felipe? man it's every time it's it's a new thing uh right now it's like even more pressure he's heavy so <laughs> he only gets worse and worse every time we train we know each other's game a lot and then uh every time i train with him we don't train for like months uh, at a time and when I get back I'm like he just gets stronger heavier on top and his guard is always like awesome his wrestling is much better now too I just keep improving every year man it's crazy <laughs>
Yeah. Tarek. <laughs> feel, feel great, man. Like, my condition is on time. My timing is on time. Jiu-Jitsu technique, good. Just uh, can't wait to be the day. Excited to be here, happy to fight one more world champion. Uh, grateful for everything and uh, looking forward to the day. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, everybody. So we wrapped up training with Felipe Pena. Um, we caught up with him at Gracie Baja in Northridge. We got to catch up a little bit with Gabriel Argis and uh, Hamilo also. So it was great seeing those guys. Overall, Felipe, he's looking big. He's looking strong. He's looking ready to go. Yeah, he's, he's really amped up for this the super heavyweight division. You can tell that he's kind of back in that uh, that spirit that he's mm -hmm. like he's ready to come back out, win his third world title. Um, and he really just looks, he looks in the gym unstoppable against, you know, maybe a guy a little smaller than him and Gabriel Large in training, but Gabriel Large is maybe smaller, but he's a world champion himself. So right. the fact that Felipe Pena was able to, to play his game so well, looks like he's sharp, he's ready to go. Definitely going to make a dent in the super heavyweight division, but I think we all know what Felipe Pena is actually after. That yeah. coveted absolute title. He hasn't, he hasn't been able to get it yet. You know, we talked a lot in the, the road up to the world championships of the divisions that don't have a returning world champion. Add an absolute to that list, right? Mm -hmm. Leandro Lowe's not coming back. He's not gonna throw his name in the hat. Uh, so yeah, absolute is one of those titles that's up for grabs. There's so many guys who could take it. Yeah, definitely. And so now it's about that time. Finally, Worlds is back. It's kicking off Thursday, December 9th. Uh, is the start of Worlds. It's gonna run all the way through Sunday, December 12th. The black belt start on Saturday the 11th. I'm incredibly stoked for it. We know the athletes are stoked for it, and we hope you guys are too. So we'll see you there.